It's a free space. That go back. No. <laughs> and now for our feature presentation. Okay, everyone, it's time now for my fifth game of the 2000 PC version of Family Feud, in which so far I've won $30,530. Okay. See if I can win more. Backstage, all right. How many pick your family? Family one, you have the space bar. Let's get this show And I've got run. the master of the dumb answers here, Michael They're Batten. St. Paul. Uh, and they describe right. themselves as glamorous, but mostly good nature. Give it up for I'm going to be Paul. laughing my guts out when we go to Fast Money. I'll tell you that right now. They're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And they describe themselves as trustworthy, but mostly tenacious. Give it up for family <clears> number two. Here we go. exciting game of Family Feud. That's right. With old meathead Louie. You know how it goes. A hundred people serving. The top three answers are on the board. Good luck. Thank you. What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos? I don't know. Family number two. What's the question? What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos? Shoes. Number one answer. They can have this question. Okay. You got it. Our number one answer. Family number two. Are you going to play or pass? They're going to play. Okay. You're playing? Okay. Never heard of Imelda Marcus, so... Oh well, wait, I have heard of her. What's I just don't remember the survey. Comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos. Lady. Fail. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top three. Hey, Bikarupa. What's the first word that comes to Where are your manners? Name of Imelda Marcos. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> strike and you're up another player we need another answer what's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos rich be the answer Pikarupa Beautiful. That was my guess. Nope. Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. A chance is still coming up. Oh, I don't know. What do you think it is, family number one? What's the first word that comes to mind when you hear the name of Imelda Marcos? Philippines? Oh, Philippines! I got it! Just guessing too. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, family number one, those points. Yeah, yeah. Ow. Ow. That 
brings us to the end of the first round. Let's look at the scores. All right. Good job, family number one. You've got the lead. Family number two, you're not far off the lead. All right, time for round two. I have a problem with a little race. You know the drill. A hundred people did the survey. Top six answers up on the board. Good luck. Thanks. We asked a hundred women, name an occasion when a woman would want to feel really attractive. Family number one. A date. We asked a hundred women. Number three answer. Two answers can be. Name an occasion when a woman would want to feel really attractive. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. I already said yeah. a date, so. New Year's. Answer please. New Year's, yeah, the holiday. New Year's. It's not there. Uh, <laughs> oh, you think Christmas is driving? You know, I'm gonna say, play. I, I that Family Christmas would be up there. Play or pass? I'll try that one in a little bit. You're playing? Okay. Okay. I'm going to say a wedding. Yeah, oh yeah. Got to get all sexy okay. for the wedding. Answer for us. We asked the <laughs> Name an occasion when a woman would want to feel there you go. Mikey, no flirting with the brides or I'm going to put you over my knee. <laughs> oh, engagement. Oops. Nice try, but no. Your first time. Oh, I said engagement. I meant to say wedding. Next family member, what do you say? Again, Mikey, you yeah, flirt with the wet women. brides, I'm going to put you over my knee. There we go. Wedding. Number one answer. Our top answer. Way to go. Pika Another player. We need another answer. We asked a hundred women. How about birthday? An when a woman would want to feel really attractive. Yeah. 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 Good. Yay, yo. Uh... All right. Yes. Michael Batten. Next family member. Uh, me. We asked a hundred women. Name an occasion when a woman would want to feel Al. really I'm gonna say Valentine's Day. Ah, uh, Jeez. Good guess, but it's not there. I gotta give you another strike. One more strike, and you're up, family number two. Another player. We need another answer. We asked a hundred women. Name an occasion when a woman would want to feel really attractive. Christmas is not there. Darn it, darn it. Uh, it's not up there. I gotta give you a strike. Next thing. Pika Rupa. Family number two. <laughs> he has a hundred women. Name an occasion when Ow. a woman would want to feel really attractive. Honeymoon. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Put down some. It's not Let's there. Woo, woo. Let's see what was the second most popular answer. Reunion. Anniversary. Party. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. That brings us to the end of round two. Let's look at the score. You've got a commanding lead, family number one. There's lots of game left, family number two. No, there's not. Are you ready for round three? All right, let's go. Member from each family, let's go. A hundred people surveyed. We got the top four answers. You just got to give them to us. Name something that a husband might do in front of his buddies that he would never do in front of his wife. Your answer, family How about one. Belch? Oh, it's not there. Where are your manners? No, too bad. Oh, Ben's here now? You get a chance. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. What do you think the answer is? 
obscene gestures. Nope. She's gotta do another survey. Nice try, but sorry. Let's try another question. Yeah. There ain't a hundred people. Top six answers up on the board. Here we go. Name a kind of bar. What do you think it is, family number one? Kind of bar. Uh. Jail bar. Is I don't know. Show us. Oh, nice try, but no. Bar. Sorry. Family number two. You give it a bar. Oh yeah. Bar. That just came to me at the last minute. All right. Pro bar. Nope. Nice try, but sorry. Ow. There ain't a hundred people. Top six answers up on the board. Here we go. Shooting the rapids is one sport. Oh, I got this one. one. Mountain climbing. Hope it's there for you. Okay, show me. Mountain climbing. <laughs> the number one answer, all right. We're gonna play. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You gonna play? All right. Shooting the rapids is one sport that pits man against nature. Name another such sport. Skydiving. Show me that. Okay. Excellent. Another player. We need another answer. Shooting the rapids is one Hunting. sport that pits man against nature. Name another such sport. Hang gliding. That pits man against nature. Name another such sport. Is it there? Let's see. Next family member. What do you say? Shooting the rapids is one sport that pits man against nature. Name another such sport. And the last one is skiing. Next family member, what do you say? Shooting the rapids is one sport that pits man against nature. Name another such sport. Is it there? Show us. Yep. You sure nailed that one. Well done. And due to not much time left on my camera, we're gonna skip the triple round in this video. And we'll come back for fast money if we win. Okay. Hang in there, family. Now. Actually, we have 13 minutes left on the camera, so there's still time. All right, it's time for round four. Okay, Let's yeah, we can get this. All right. All right, so we're going to try to go through this as fast as we can. 100 people surveyed. We got the top four answers. You just got to give them to us. Besides drinking, tell me something people use alcohol for. What do you think it is, family number one? Uh, Cleaning. Yay, yo! Okay. It's on the board, but it's not in the top spot. Over to the next family. All right. Ooh. Wounds. Oh, yeah. Everybody set? They got it. Number two, are you gonna play or pass? 
They're gonna play. You're gonna play? All right. Besides drinking, tell me something people use alcohol for. Cough syrup. Fail. Okay. Fail. My run continues. Oh, well, oh, good answer, but sorry. The next family can steal. What do you think it is, family number one? Besides drinking, tell Cooking. me something people use alcohol for. Cooking, baking. Number one answer. Good. All right, family number one. You got the points. What was in third place? Massage rubbing. Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. Alright, let's get the fast money. Well done, family number 460 one. 460 to zippity doo dah. Nice work, everyone. Moving on to our You ready to give a dumb answer, answer Mikey? Money winner. Oh, yeah. Family number Here we one. we go. It's the fast money round. I need to play with some new teams. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. Name the most important room in the home for a fire alarm. Name the most important room in the home for a fire alarm. Probably the living room. No. All right. Name something campers cook on camping trips. Name something campers cook on camping trips. Hot dogs. No. Of course. Name the kind of place where you get hungry just by smelling the food. Name a kind of place where you get hungry just by smelling the food. Restaurant. No. Of course. Name a British prime minister. Name a British minister. prime minister. Uh, Tony Blair. No. All right. Dumb answer coming up. Name something. Ah! <laughs> Name something that's foamy. Name something that's foamy? F-O-A-M-Y, yes. Oh, <laughs> a Trojan condom. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> you said living room. Our survey said... Two. Okay. They're on the board. Name something campers cook on camping trips. You said hot dogs. Our survey said... 46. There you go. Name the kind of place where you get hungry just by smelling the food. Your answer You said was, a restaurant. Of course you would say that. Our survey said... 45. Name a British Prime Minister. You answered. You said Tony Blair. Our survey said uh, nobody. What? That's okay. It's all right. And name something that's foamy. You said what? Name something that's foamy. That's what do you think that got? Zero. Exactly. <laughs> Ninety-three points. So I need hundred seven. Our next player needs 110 points to win our fast money round. Same five questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I'm I ready. finish the first question. Name the most important room in the home for a fire alarm. I'll say the kitchen. Name something campers cook on camping. Uh, trips. hamburgers. Name the kind of place where you get hungry just by smelling the food. Uh, ballpark. Name a British prime minister. Winston Churchill. Name something that's phony. Beer. Let's take a look at Forces, your hands. Australian for beer. The most important room for a fire alarm. Here's your answer. The kitchen. Let's see if it was there. 48! Oh. Number one answer. The most popular answer. Yes! Name something campers cook on Hot dogs, number one. I Here's said hamburgers. 
Was it up there? 14. Hot dogs number one. Name the kind of place where you get hungry just by smelling the food. Restaurant number one. I said a ballpark. Was it up there? Nothing. Uh, restaurant number one. Name a British Prime Minister. I said Sir Winston Churchill. Was it up there? 40! Only five points away from 10 grand. We got this. Yep. Name something that's funny. I said beer. Did five people say beer for $10,000? Let's see if it was there. We got it! Oh, yeah. $40,530 in five games. Most popular answer. Yes. Wow, $10,000. Congratulations. All right. See you again on our next game of Family Feud. Goodbye, everybody. And that is going to do it for this game of the 2000 PC version of Family Feud. I'll do game six soon. Hi, folks. Leaving us so soon? Yes. And Mikey, because of your dumb answer, uh -huh. I can't send you over the moon. Because right. we won the 10 grand. Therefore, you get a free pass. We'll see you yeah. all for our next video coming soon, folks. See you later.